Hey guys, welcome back to part four of creating an island in Blender. And right now, uh, we're just going to be adding the finishing touch of texture painting around the island to make it look like it's dropping off into the water. And just giving it some additional looks and just some additional touches. So with that, let's just hop right into it. It's quite simple and straightforward, so let's just go into our top view for right now. Oops. And with our ocean selected, um, select all of the vertices and hit U, project from view. And let's go back into object mode and let's go into texture paint. And so right up here on the tool shelf under missing data, it says that because we don't have um, a choice picked out yet. So we're going to add diffuse color and just hit OK. So now we can basically paint um, anywhere that we want to, any color that we want to. So, and that'll kind of overlay on our texture. So I'm going to get a little yellowish color going here and increase the pixel size right there. Might be a bit big. And I'm just going to kind of go right around the island and just kind of give it that little feeling it and just kind of give it that little drop off and shift F you can adjust the feather of kind of the drop off and can we do that just one last time around the edge and there we go so you will find that it does repeat itself and that's because I didn't use a usual um, UV map, I just did project from view and used global coordinates. So generally, if you're just going to have one shot like this, it won't matter much. But if you're going to be having a scene, say, going around the island like an animation, you might want to use um, a UV map. But this is just a more simple way to do it. And so we can go back in here. I'm just going to adjust the camera over here so it doesn't catch as much of that. And so now if we try a test render, just not an actual render, you can see how it's kind of, it's more sandy next to it. It's got that sand, you know, that sand drop off, like it's actually that feeling it's going into the water. And so you can kind of see that right around there, especially in here. So that's looking really good. And let's try an official test render with that. Okay, so this is that's looking great with the rocks and the reeds and just intermixing. And I think I'm just one last thing. I'm going to make the trees a bit more dense and I'm going to zoom the camera back just a little bit and maybe increase the depth of mist just by a little bit. So, first I'm going to bring the camera back just a little bit. And then we'll go to our tree particle system and yeah let's make the number let's try 200 and then when we test under that it'll just be thicker and I think it'll look a lot better and one thing you can do is we can try this you can turn on um, on your sun settings atmosphere and that kind of adds a haze and you could have that I usually use that for darker scenes and things like that but you can try test render and here's what it looks like on the island currently so as you can see, it adds a bit of a haze to it, and I am liking the results of it, and I think I might keep it like that, but you can have a more kind of fresh-looking scene without the atmosphere, and here's what it looks like. So as you can see, it is a bit more, you know, you can, it's lighter, and there's not really that haze there. So, um, I, th I guess I'll just leave it like that, and you can adjust how yours however you want. You can make your textures different, um, and I, I really like how this turned out. And I hope this has been a big help to you, and hope you enjoyed this, and um, please take a look at some of my other tutorials, and um, thank you for watching. Bye.